now to a separate bombshell today from the world's richest female athlete. Agents for Maria Sharapova were right when they said the tennis star would make a major announcement at her news conference today. She's recently had a string of injuries and she lost a big match at the Australian Open to Serena Williams back in January. Today, reporters thought she might call it quits and join Peyton Manning in the land of retirement, but instead, Maria Sharapova shocked everyone in the room with her news. I wanted to let you know that a few days ago I received a letter from the ITF that I had failed a drug test at the Australian Open. I did fail the test and I take full responsibility for it. Joining me now to talk about it, CNN sports analyst Christine Brennan. Christine, uh, shocking news. Yep. Um, today she said, uh, Sharapova, that she's been taking a drug called Mildrenat for the last 10 years, but then she found out it has another name called meldonium, which is a banned substance. How common is this drug? This is a drug that she's been taking for 10 years that most of us had never heard about because the, the World Anti-Doping Agency, Jake, only made this illegal the last few months. So that's the big deal there. And of course, why would the World Anti-Doping Agency do that? Because they see it as a banned substance. They see it as cheating because it can also, according to my sources, increase metabolism mm. and help with endurance. So there's much more to it than that. But this drug kind of snuck up on us because it wasn't on that banned list. But Maria's been using it a long time. Well, what's so stunning is, and you and I were just talking about this, you almost never see an athlete make the announcement him or herself and, and take responsibility, usually they deny it. Right, and that's what's so interesting about this is she decided to get out in front of this. She decided to actually go out there and say, hey, I did this. Think about all these stories over the years. Lance Armstrong, Floyd Landis, uh, Marion Jones, one after another, they denied for years until they finally were forced to come clean. The difference here is that Maria Sharapova has taken this bull by the horn, so to speak, decided she's going to tell us that she did it. Smart move. I think it's also an admirable move. But will it help lessen a suspension? Will she be able to get back into the good graces of the World Tennis Federation sooner by doing this? And I think the answer to that is yes. You think it will be a relatively short suspension? Well, she could face anything between two and four years. If she's 28 years old, that would be career ending, basically. I mean, at that point, you can't figure she's going to have much more to time if she's gone, say, for two years. Yeah. But I could see getting off you know, time for good behavior. Because she did this, because she's one of those rare athletes to just admit it right away and face the music, I think they might uh, maybe give her a little bit less. But I do think, I absolutely think they should give her some kind of ban. Otherwise, what, what good are your rules if you're not banning people at least for six months or so? She, uh, her statement was very interesting. I'd like to play a little bit more from her statement if we could. I made a huge mistake. And I, I've let my fans down. I've let the sport down that I've been playing since the age of four that I love so deeply. Now, obviously, she has a huge fan base, like a lot of pro athletes. And for her, a lot of them are, are, are children, young girls. What message do you think her mistake and the admission of her mistake sends to children? Certainly, the first thing is disappointment. I mean, this woman has always been about, she came to the press room at Wimbledon 10 years ago and walked, went room, person to person to, to say hello to the media, shake hands. I've never had a tennis player do that except Maria Sharapova. So there's something really great about that. You could say it's all because of PR, or you could say she really wants to get to know people and do the right thing. She's always done the right thing, and that's why this is so disappointing. I think it could be short-term problems for her and long-term gain. Also, the thing we've seen with Marion Jones and others is when they are caught and when they do um, admit and finally, you know, say, hey, I did, I took a banned substance, can they actually start to use that as a positive? Can they go and talk to kids about what, uh, about drug abuse and, and illegal substances? And I'm going to guess, Jake, that Ma Maria Sharapova will do that exact thing. It sounds like you don't think this is a career-ending admission or, or violation. It could be. Again, if, if they decide to throw the book at her and she gets two years or so, she's done. I mean, that's just hard, so hard to come back at that age as it is. She's been injured. Uh, she has five Grand Slam titles, but she's so far behind Serena and Serena has just uh, owned her in all these major uh, competitions that they've played. So uh, it could be over. I hope for her, though, it's not over. The fact is, though, sh she is labeled now a cheater. I mean, right. there is no doubt about it. She can say, I didn't know, which is what she's saying. Nonetheless, she has to know, Jake. When you get that email saying this is now on the ban list and you've been taking this for 10 years, you have to know that. You cannot let that go and you cannot say, oh, that escaped me. This is her career. That's everything about her career is in her image is based on this, these kind of uh, pieces of information on the drug testing. Christine Brennan, always great to have you. Thanks Thank for joining you. us.